Hey guys, it's PK Mom Life here, um, or Tiffany. Um, I'm here today with my day eight of my 30 days of thanks. Um, so I've been thinking about what I wanted to do today, actually since yesterday, and probably after I did the video last night, and had wanted to start it off this morning, the video, but got busy, was running late, with work, getting the working and stuff, and forgot. So, here we are now. It is 10 till 9. I just got home a few minutes ago. Actually, I already started videoing this. And then was like, ah, I just need to start over. So, <laughs> we're starting over. This is take two. Um, so, anyhow, today's day of thanks, the thing I'm thankful for, is going to be a little silly, probably. But also, it's kind of serious, too. But I was trying to think, trying to think of something that was not as serious as what as the last couple of days have been. So, today... I am, I'm 37 years old. I'll be 38 in May. Um, ever since I started getting hair, my hair has been red and it's been curly. It's not a bright red anymore. It's more of like a dark red, strawberry blonde kind of color. But when I was growing up, it was your typical red. And it was curly like Shirley Temple Curls. And then, um... I don't know why, you know, I have no idea why, what happened, um, but my hair, I don't know if it just started getting straighter, if it was just the way my mom was fixing it, I don't know. Didn't, I mean, I knew I had some wave and stuff in it, but never considered it curly. So, um, all through middle, junior high, high school, college, I straightened it. One time in college, I did get a wave perm put in, and my hair was humongous. It was ridiculous because I have a lot of hair. Like, I really have a lot of hair. Um, so, I never, did, what I'm actually thankful for, I don't think I've actually said this yet, but I'm thankful for my curls um, and for finally embracing my curls. I, you know, like I said, when I was little, my hair was curly, you know. Um, then as I grew up, it wasn't as curly, and I don't know if it was just the way we were fixing it or what. I, I don't know. Um... I do remember for a while in the 80s, maybe early 90s, probably too, my mom permed my bangs. So they were curly. Um, but I mostly wore it straight, had it um, layered. And I mean, I'd, I'd wear it, like pot roll it, that type of thing, but never like had my natural curls. Um, Let me go find somewhere else to sit because I need my arms get tired. I need to like prop my arm up on something. <laughs> That's how I talk to you guys. But um we'll try right here. I'm in the hall, like in the stairwell, so it may be a little echoey. So but anyhow, um I wore my hair mostly straight through middle school, high school, college. And then in college I got this wild hair at my butt one year. I wanted this wave perm. So I got a wave perm. And my hair was humongous. I mean, like, it was just huge. And it held onto that perm forever, it seemed like. Um, I was like, never doing that again. And then I would say maybe, like, I think it was probably 2009. I started embracing my curl a little bit. Um, I was at the beach with my dad. Maybe this was 2010. It might have been 2010, actually. I think it was the summer of 2010. Um, but went to the beach three times that summer. Once with my best friend and her kids. Once with my dad, my brother, my sister-in-law, my nephew. And then once with some girls I worked with. The one and only girl trip I've ever been on. But anyhow, um, what reminded me of this is that something I was looking through pictures yesterday for my video with my dad but I found some pictures of me with my hair kind of curly at the beach with my on the first trip that summer it was yeah it was the summer 2010 and um I thought well that must have been when I started you know not caring you know and just kind of embracing what because I mean I knew always there was cur it had some wave in it because I mean like anytime I was in humidity like it would curl up and, and like after when I started actually like when I had bangs and my, my mom wasn't permanent and she permed my bangs when I was like mid-90s, early 90s. 
late 80s, let's say. Um, and I was wearing them straight when I had bangs. You know, any kind of time there was humidity, they would just curl up. That's why I grew my bangs out. So I knew there was some natural something going on in my hair. I just never really paid attention to what. I knew it was curly when I was a little girl. That was it. So anyhow, um, so I guess when I was at the beach that year, I started embracing it. Because there's pictures of me at the beach with my friend Sarah. Pictures at the beach with my family. And pictures at the beach with my girlfriends where my hair's curly. And I remember my ex-husband, we met that summer too, saying a lot how he liked my hair curly. And so I wore a lot when he, because he said he liked it curly. But I never really wore it curly out unless I cur fixed it and curled it. Like, actually, like, curled it with hot rollers or something. Um, or somebody else curled it for me. You know, like, I went to a salon and had it curled. But never really, like, you know, got up in the mornings and said, oh, I'm going to wear my hair curly today. Like, I do now. Like, if I wore my hair curly at home, just for the hell of it, it was because I didn't feel like fixing it and just let it do what it wanted type thing. So, you know, for the five, how long were we together? Four years that we were together, I wore my hair curly quite a bit. Um, and then after we got divorced, he started saying that I looked like Rocky Dennis. If anybody knows who that is, just go Googling. And, um, I felt horrible about myself, about my curls, about everything. So, um, I quit wearing my hair curling. Well then, you know, being a single mom and stuff, I was looking for easy. You know, I didn't want to blow dry my hair every day. I didn't want to flat iron it every day. I wanted to be able to do and get up in the morning and go for the most part. So I started reading about different things and um, or experimenting with different things, asking my curly haired girlfriends, you know, how what they did, you know, and that type of thing. Um, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. But for the most part, during the summertime especially, I wear my hair curly daily. I'm sorry you guys are getting a picture of the toilet in the background. <laughs> um, but I wear my hair curly daily in the summertime. Just because it's easier. And it's going to like curl up anyhow because the humidity and stuff. I mean, I'm in West Virginia. We get we have pretty high humidity here. So anyhow. Um, I'm thankful today for my curls. I'm thankful for um, not letting what my ex-husband said about me and my curls. Because saying I looked like Rocky Dennis and stuff. I mean, it really put me down. Like I hated. I mean, oh, it was horrible. Um, I don't want to get into that though. Um like hold me back. I mean, it did for a little while, but eventually I embraced my curls and Chris loves my hair curly. I love wearing it curly. My mom says I don't look as soft. I don't know. She don't like me wearing it curly, but it's easy. All I do is I wash it and I have a non low sulfate, no sulfate, sulfate shampoo. I can't think of exactly what it is. Um, and then I use, and then I have a leave spray and leave-in conditioner I use, and then I have a curl spray that I'll put on it to kind of help it curl too. And then normally, like right before I leave the house, after I've you know half hour or so after I've done that to my hair, I will um I have some gel stuff I'll put in. Now, a reason why I was wanting to start the video this morning is because I wanted you guys to see it in the morning when I first you know got in the shower and all that. Because, you know, these curls back here all look pretty good. But this right here, where I will push it behind my ear during the day to get it out of my face when I'm at work, it's not as curly. But, I mean, I love my curls now. And I'm just thankful for them. Sorry about the toilet again. <laughs> so, I'm just thankful for them. Um, and that is what my day eight of my 30 days of thanks is going to be my curls. I'm thankful for my curls. I'm thankful for what my curls have taught me about my self-esteem and about who I am and, you know, not to worry about what people say. And a lot of times when people say stuff, they just say stuff that can be mean and not necessarily even because they believe it, but just to be mean. And um, that I am thankful I'm comfortable with myself enough to do what I want with my hair. 
So that is my day eight. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have really enjoyed doing these videos so far. It has been hard for me to do them because um, I'm not a daily vlogger, especially when I'm working. I mean, like, you guys, last night I get home till 9.30. And tonight I get home till almost 9. So, and I work 12-hour shifts, so I'm leaving here at my house 6.30. So I'm working, you know, I'm gone 14 hours a day. So vlogging daily for me is hard, and I think this I wanted, one of the reasons why I wanted to do this is kind of get me prepared for when I, for hopefully Vlogmas next month. But we'll see. <laughs> um, thanks for watching, though. Give me a big thumbs up. Um, let me know something that you're thankful for down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I do lots of different things. Um, vlogging. Um, I'm on a weight loss journey. I'm kind of stalled right now, and I need to get that back going. I've got to start working out, and I will include you guys in that. I do um, Dollar Tree hauls. Um, I do um, unboxings for different clothing subscriptions. Like, actually, today just got a box in for Thread Up. And I kind of gave up on them, but I decided to go ahead and do another box. And I have a stitch fix that I need to record to, and I'll probably record it over the weekend. Probably both of those I'll do over the weekend. I think that's it guys um and then you know my channel name is pk mom life that's because i am a single mom i'm not single i'm just not married i have a boyfriend a um serious boyfriend but um i'm raising my kids without you know don't mean their dad's in the picture but um just kind of my life you know when i don't edit my videos a lot so you guys kind of see like the real thing like the toilet thing like <laughs> <laughs> That's just how it is. Like, look, there's my laundry, there's my bathroom, and it's a mess. Actually, I think I need to run, do a load of scrubs, because I don't think I have any scrubs clean, come to think of it. I'm glad I just looked at the laundry, because if not, I would not have even realized or thought about doing laundry. <laughs> but anyhow, I'm done. I'm going to go eat, and um, I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys have had a great day, and like I said, please give me a thumbs up, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Bye for now.